Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, to all my returning YouTube family and friends. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and I am so glad that you decided to join us today because I am coming to you with a, another Dollar Tree haul. Um, and if you'll notice, I am outside because it's absolutely beautiful and sunny, and I didn't want to do this sitting in the house, but it's also very breezy. <laughs> So I'm trying to hold my tripod right now, but we'll see how this goes. So anyway, if you guys like my video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you want to see more of my videos, click that red subscribe that's down below. And if you want to get sent notifications whenever I upload new videos, click that little bell that's just above the red subscribe and you'll get sent notifications every time I upload a new video. So let's get started with our Dollar Tree haul. So I ran into the Dollar Tree um, yesterday because I still needed to get TJ his Easter basket and I had some DIY projects that I wanna start doing and I needed some supplies for those. So um, I ran in and I was able to find a few things um, to use for the projects that I, I have in mind. Um, and the first one is this glass vase and I'm going to be using this along with the succulent it I was looking for actually the succulent with the purple on top but I couldn't find it at my store so I figured this would be nice um, to go with um, to go with this project and also what I'm going to be using for those or for that is coasters and basically you take the succulent and you're going to put it you're going to glue it onto the bottom of this and then you put the little vase on top so it's going to be like a cloche and i found this um, diy project from life at 50 and beyond from josie so i will link that video down below in the description box so you guys can take a look at it i love josie she has amazing DIYs, amazing videos. So if you guys haven't checked her out, check her out. She's fantastic. Um, so then I also picked up more of the Candle Cafe Frappe scented candles and I got the Mocha Frappe. And I actually got four of those because I just love the Mocha scent. And these guys, if you haven't got them, the scent, the throw is fantastic. I love it. So I highly recommend those. And I do like the other ones, the caramel, um, the salted caramel, as well as the white one. I think it's like the white chocolate. Great, guys. Love it. And then I also found um, one of the um, little bubble things, you know, like the little word phrases that with the love in it. And I just love this little trinket tray. And for a dollar, I mean, it's so cute. And my husband said this would be like a really cool, like a spoon rest for like your stove or countertop. And I mean, I'm not gonna use it for that, but it would be, it's a really cute idea. So just, you know, a little something to think about if you know you need something like that. So I grabbed that. Um, then I grabbed, I saw, um, Lala from Lala's Land haul these new um, car, um, oh, the car air fresheners. So I grabbed these, the Perks, and I grabbed the Vanilla and the Clean Car or New Car. And this doesn't smell like new car to me, but the scent is awesome. I love it. So I did get two of those and they're somewhere in the basket here. So I grabbed two of each and then let's see, I got, um, I needed some band-aids for here at the house. So I picked up this 20 pack of the Minions adhesive band-aids got those and guys a motorcycle is coming by so sorry grabbed those thought those were cute the kids would like those so I grabbed those and then I grabbed um, the assured brand 
And this is the 80 count and these are the sheer bandages and they're, you know, like the assorted sizes. I've never used them. So if you guys have, let me know down below how these work, but I got the 80 count of those. Um, I also needed some permanent markers. I do have um, the Sharpie markers, but I don't have a black one. I've got every color but black, which I have no idea where the black one is. So I grabbed two of the Jot brand permanent markers, and that's the two pack, because I needed those. And I picked up some of, oh, here's the, the additional perks. So there's the two of those and two of those. <clears throat> and these guys, they last 30 days. So I've got 120 days worth of, right? Yeah, 120. Um, I got 60 of each, so. <laughs> but anyway, over in the sticker section, I didn't find any stickers that I really liked, but um, they did have the flatback pearls, and I love these, and I have several of them, but I try to pick them up if I see them because, you know, sometimes you find them, sometimes you don't, and I don't want to run out. So I grabbed two of the lavender, and I hope there's not a huge glare, guys. If it is, I'm sorry. So I grabbed two of the lavender, one of the navy, two of the and these, I love these. These and the lavender are so pretty. And I grabbed one of the red and one of the hot pink and those are all drop brand and there's 216 side I just love those um, and then I also found the um, flag paper clips that I've seen being called and I grabbed one of each set and they're six pieces and they're the Jot brand and I got this one this one like there's actually multiples they just mixed them around I think that's what they did so there's actually only two <laughs> god how stupid um, I grabbed this one actually three because this one is different this one and then this one and those are perfect for my planner as well as friend mail and pocket letters then I saw on Pam's Life, she actually um, hauled these really cute notebooks from Jot. And um, they're the notebook with the little pen. So I grabbed one for me. And then I grabbed one for my giveaway box that I'm building up. And then um, I also grabbed for a project that I'm working on. Um, the Crafter Square 100 piece craft sticks. So they're just the popsicle sticks, but I grabbed a hundred of those. And I grabbed one more pack of the small afterglow paper clips, the 250 count. Grab those. And then I saw um, they had these little. Um, you know the wood little thing little sayings canvases and it says first my mother forever my friend and I just thought that was so pretty and I wanted to give that to my mom for Mother's Day so I picked that up and that um, DIY that I'm gonna be making that life at 50 and beyond did is for her as well Then we needed some bar soap and I really like the Yardley London um, sensitive skin really sensitive skin he's got like um, psoriasis so this is really good on his skin and I picked up two bars of the shea buttermilk with delicate chamomile and creamy buttermilk and this smells so good I mean you can like smell it in the box. 
So I grabbed two of those. And then I, uh, I've been using my gardening gloves to put on my hands when I'm spray painting things so I don't get spray paint all over my nails because when I get my nails done, um, I, you know, I always end up with spray paint all over my nail polish. So I picked up another pair of gardening gloves to use. I thought these were cute. And this is by Garden Collection and I don't know if this is a green, yeah, it's a green briar product. So it is a Dollar Tree product. And they do have the rubber backing you know the rubber um, sole so I thought those would be perfect not sole sole is your foot for your palm of your hand <laughs> that was so silly oh my goodness guys okay we're getting down to the last few items and then I picked up this little clutch with strap and I actually won't be using it as that I'll use it for like pens or things you know to put in my planner and I saw um, Pam from Pam's Life haul this, and it was so cute. And they had a few different colors besides the blue. They had pink and black at my store, um, but I liked the blue because obviously blue and purple are my favorite colors. <laughs> and then the main reason I went there, obviously, was for TJ because I still needed to get him an Easter basket. And I decided that I wasn't going to go with a traditional basket for him because he is getting older. And he needs more practical things, so just to have a regular Easter basket just sitting around collecting dust for a year, I figured it would be better to pick up some kind of a bin or a basket for him that he could use to store his toys in. And um, like I have told you guys before, he loves green. Green is his favorite color. So I went down to the aisle that they have all their storage and I picked up this basket and I thought this would be perfect um, for him to put like either his, you know, Hot Wheels cars or his Ninja Turtles or, you know, his, um, oh, the little guys that, the Transformers, you know, just something that he could store his toys in. I have gotten him several of the bins from Dollar Tree to put like the smaller ones for his Legos, because he has a huge Lego collection. The kid loves Legos. He loves to build them, take them apart, rebuild them. I mean, every, pretty much every holiday, he gets some kind of a Lego set. So um, I do, he, I picked up several little bins for his Legos, because he has so many, they don't fit in just one. <laughs> so I picked up this, I figured it would be perfect for some kind of storage for him. And I figured Kristen will be happy because then she doesn't have to put, um, you know, a basket up somewhere for next year or me. Then I don't have to keep it for next year and store it. But um, then I also picked up um, some more flowers. And um, because I was working on that um, flower box with the mirrors, um, but it needed some more. It just it wasn't full enough so I picked up uh, let's see four more of the onion grasses for more height so I grabbed four of those and look at how real they look out here in the wind and aren't they pretty hey hey <laughs> I see you <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> just having a little fun and then I picked up some more of the dahlias. I picked up four more bunches of those, or actually I picked up three of those because I needed three more just to kind of fill in. And there's five on each bunch. And always, I counted them just to make sure, I always count to make sure that there's, I get the amount that's supposed to be there. So I grabbed those. And then I picked up three bunches of this, um, Alsta Maria, I guess is what it's called. But I got those, hello wind. The wind just keeps whipping around. It'll pick up and then die down. There we go. I picked up three bunches of these and look at how pretty guys, these are just so pretty. And I love the colors, like the peach or yellow with the tips, like pink, like just really pretty. So I grabbed three of those and I figured, you know, I could probably use these in that as well. Um, 
because those are, you know, the colors, the majority of the colors that I've went with. And look at how nice they look with the, with the dahlias. Super pretty. Love it. Okay. Um, last three things. I did pick up an 8x10, and this is probably going to blind you, mirror for another project that I'm going to be working on, and that is also going to be with the, um, the, um, uh, the popsicle sticks. Jeez, oh, Pete's my brain just lost. I, okay. Um, the popsicle sticks. Um, I just need to get um, two tin cans and basically you put it together like this. The mirror goes in the center and then you put the popsicle sticks together to make like a backing to attach the cans to and then you can put whatever you want in there like um, oh like wooden kitchen tools because I'm going to put it in my kitchen. Um, on one of my walls in my kitchen. So, and I can't remember whose channel I saw that on, but I did save it. So I will link it in the description box below. So you guys can check that video out. It was really cool. I loved it. So, um, so anyway, guys, I believe that is all for my Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> um, I do have a small Walmart haul that I'm going to be sharing with you guys here in just a minute. Um, and when I was at the Dollar Tree, I did pick up some food items, but they're already in the house. Um, and we used um, one of them last night for dinner. So actually a couple. We did get some. I got the California medley vegetable frozen veggies. I got a pack of the frozen corn and green beans as well. I got two of the packs of the yellow rice. We love that. And every time I use them, I replace them. So we always have them on hand. And then I got the Noor um, pasta sides. It was Parmesan and, um, oh, I can't remember guys, but it was Parmesan noodles. So, and they were really good. I, we love the Noor products for side dishes if, you know, like we don't make potatoes or rice or something like that. So, so anyway, guys, that is my Dollar Tree haul for today. And look for my Walmart haul in a little bit. And I'm also going to be uploading a Peachy Cheap haul um, that I got. I got a couple Peachy Cheaps actually. So guys, again, if you are new to my channel and you want to see more of my videos, click that red subscribe button down below. And if you guys want to get notifications when I upload new videos, click the little bell that's just above that subscribe button. And you'll get sent notifications every time I upload a new video. And if you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and always leave me comments, questions, or suggestions down in the comments section. I love to hear from you guys and love getting to know everybody. So guys, that is it. Have a wonderful, happy, and blessed Easter. And we'll see you soon.